Hello and welcome to Sega News Bits. I'm Barry. With me is George. Hello, everyone. And on this uh, installment, we are going to be discussing the Valkyria Revolution release in the Americas. It's coming to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 physically and the PS Vita digitally. And uh, that's hitting June 27th, but um, what what we're going to be chatting about is yet another boxed special edition from Sega. Can you believe it? Well, I could believe it because they want to take all my money. I know yeah, they love it. Right? Like, it, it, I've said it before. There's a point now where you should be worried when there isn't a launch edition from Sega. But I'm not complaining. I love it. I love these, these collector's boxes with all the stuff they pour in there. Uh, so this one, it's going to be called the Vanergand Edition. So what you'll be getting is you'll be getting the game Valkyria Revolution, which uh, is known uh, more popularly before the announcement of the Western release as Valkyria Azure Revolution. Or what was it called? It was like um, Valkyria of the... Ba- I don't know. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Some, some crazy Japanese name. But they simplified it down. It's Valkyria Revolution. It's a spin-off title. We uh, we had some Sega Bits reps playing it at Tokyo Game Show. They thought it was, eh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's actually a nice way of putting it. But yes. Yeah, yeah. And so, how how would you quick just quickly describe this game before we go into the special edition stuff? Uh, this is kind of taking the trend of they're trying to make these like turn-based games into action games, and this game seems to be that right. It's like everything is in real time. There's not. There's a less emphasis on the strategy part and more emphasis on just, I guess, smashing buttons. And mm. uh, I think that's why a lot of people are turned off by this game, because the Valkyria Chronicles series was known for being an SRPG. Okay, so, I mean, uh, I'm not I'm not well-versed in Valkyria Chronicles. I've played a bit of the first one. Would it really be that big of a turnoff to have a change in gameplay style for the spinoff, do you think? I think it is because I mean when you play Valkyrie Chronicles you have to set your guys up you got to get the right units and then you have to like and then you 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 know you do a couple shots here you do a couple shots there you wait for the other person and it's kind of like a board game okay and, but it with some real you know real time aiming and stuff not like Fire Emblem where it's kind of just you hit them like a Final Fantasy game right. and this one you're the one that aims the shots and stuff and then this one they took that whole like oh it's real time gameplay and now you don't take turns. You go in and you, and you still have classes and stuff, but you have to just fight, like kind of like Final Fantasy 15 compared to Final Fantasy 7 or something. Or Fantasy Star Online compared to Fantasy Star, or the Genesis games. Exactly. Yeah. Huh. Well, I mean, there's some incentives here though. There is a soundtrack CD with 12 songs, and those songs are from Yasunori Mitsuda, who did music for Chrono Trigger and Stella Glow. That's pretty cool. It looks like you get a CD and a little paper sleeve that contains the CD. You also get a Vanergand metal pin. A f- actual size is approximately one and a half inches, and it looks like that comes in, uh, like it has a little plastic window on the box so you can see it from the outside. It looks pretty swanky. It will be uh, good for people's cosplays. Yeah, and, and the price... Okay, so, you know, I, I had you start with the whole gameplay thing just to get a read of what you thought of the game if you were going to pick it up at all but listen to this i mean you get these two things you get they call it a collector's box it's a cardboard box but it's a collector's box i guess and all of this is for 39.99 if you pre-order on amazon you get 20 percent off george is this worth 32 dollars for you would you get this yeah see i wasn't gonna get this game i thought maybe i'll do a review they send me a digital copy for the review but now i have to pre-order it because this is pretty cheap and i already have everything else valkyria chronicles so at this point i have to get this this is pretty (laughs) awesome i'm gonna be honest even if i hate the game (laughs) i mean i don't know i how bad could the game be i mean I guess my question is, if I was coming at this and I've never played a Valkyria game, do you think I'd actually enjoy this because I'm not coming at it missing the strategy RPG elements? Probably, I mean, I think a lot of people forget that like a lot of my favorite games are spin-off titles. Like, uh, Shining Force was never the real title. That's mm-hmm. a spin-off, it's different. Uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga. So I'm not against spin-offs, I'm just, I haven't played the game yet, but it just doesn't look like it would be fun the way it's put together. 
Right. I might have. I might actually have fun with it because I don't. I'm not that you know anal about it being 100 percent like the original. Because right. I understand it's a spinoff. So when I go into it, I'm just gonna be like, all right, forget everything I know about the past games. Just try to have fun. Right. I think that's so, a good thing for people. To have yeah. To so it could go two ways. You could have it that way, or you could have it like the the Dark Ages, where we would have games like Sonic 06 and Knight's Journey of Dreams and Fantasy Star Universe, and you would play it and you'd be like, something seems seriously wrong with these. Yeah, and I think the thing you have to remember, this is probably Sega's weakest looking title for the year, mm -hmm. and that's actually not a bad thing because it doesn't look as terrible as we've seen in the past from the publisher. Hmm. So I guess uh, if you're watching this, are you planning on picking this up? Is the price and the... Uh bonus goodies enough to sway you to get it even if you were on the fence or just not thinking about it at all and um, what do you think of all these special editions huh? I mean Sonic Forces is going to have like a fucking trunk like they're just going to yeah. like have uh, Izuka show up at your front door so uh, sound off in the comments below